Okay. Cool. So here we are in the interview yes. with uh, Bibor Kaberes. Um, so we're gonna have uh, each of us uh, have a question for you. So who shall we start with? Who wants to start? Okay, Vicky. I can start. <laughs> or Ayumi. Vicky. <laughs> 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 okay so um yeah so we were also uh, like reading about the topic what you have chosen for this um, occasion and i was wondering because i remember that um, you already uh, have chosen before um other very interesting and not easy topics. And um, I'm interested like what kind of topics you have already performed and you worked with, like just mentioning some, because I remember it was also some kind of um, related to the uh, climate change. So not the, not, let's say not the easy ones. So I'm interested what kind of topics are you interested in right now and what have you already worked with or maybe you're also planning to work work with? <clears throat> well, that's a great question. Thank you. Um, so I have been, well, I worked about, like, make work about a lot of different things. Um, I'm interested in collecting or connecting um, my personal experiences um, and histories um, and impressions and all that with kind of larger uh, societal or well I wouldn't say global that's a big word but like just like larger uh, societal uh, phenomena and um, I actually started calling this like the personal archive because it's sort of an archiving method when you take material and and you kind of make a piece about it or make it visible and and sort of uh, like I don't know, make, make a collection of, of your experiences, which then you can, you know, like present and go through and categorize and all of that. So anyway, um, yes, I choreographed a piece for three dances about uh, digital consumption or like overconsumption, uh, which was for the Climate Change Theatre Festival um, in November, I think. And it was performed in public space. I also work a lot with public space. Uh, I have some solo pieces as well, so I'm interested in how to, well, it, there's a lot of aspects of it, like to bring dance um, to people who would not necessarily go to these production houses to see some shows and how to sort of find new audiences for it, but also it really affects the form, obviously, um, how you deal with your body um, when the audience is not chosen in the same way, sort of, and you're sort of it's a different presence um and yeah i'm also really interested like so i feel like these are very like you know like they're like big topics and all that but also i'm interested in the personal nature of it so like how how does it affect my life like as and also as a body like somatically like how do i experience like climate change which means that you know like things around me are kind of disintegrating and coming to end and and transforming so how does that affect me as a sensing body and um so also this piece um you know it's about intergenerational female stories and and possibly traumas and what is passed on uh, from my grandma to me so it's it's very personal but then also i think there's it relates to this big intergenerational difference that we have in the country uh in hungary that we don't necessarily have a right language to 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 talk about our experiences with 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 our grandparents or even our parents generation so yeah i'm also working on um a piece about it's like a larger project about soil and kind of soil health and soil societies and how that relates to to human societies and and sustainability and human life and communities so um yeah <laughs> So, uh, thank you. I'm going to have a question related to this, actually. Okay. Um, 
So my question is about, do you think it's important that, uh, that it should come uh, a piece or anything like this, that kind of topic uh, as a personal experience? And uh, uh, for, for, so do you think it should be personal or, or it should be, uh, because it's, it's very sensitive topic. So uh, I assume if you, if you experience this, maybe it's, it's, it's even harder or maybe it's, it's easier because you have experienced it. Uh, what do you think about this like uh, mm, by it uh, what do you mean like if you for example with this topic if you have a, if experienced anything related to this topic do you think it's uh, important for the artist to 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 experience something that he works with as well mm. and uh, do you find it hard if you if you haven't experienced it or do you find hard if you have experienced something that you work on with if you know what i mean Mm -hmm. Well, I think the good thing about dance is that it makes it experienceable. Um, mm -hmm. So it's not, I think it's, so you could kind of take very concrete things and you bring it into like the visceral realm. So it's not, um, you know, like you don't necessarily have, I don't know, like a, a trauma in your grandparents' yeah. life or whatever to, to, to feel uh, what this feels like. And I don't even know if, if the goal is to make the audience feel in any way. I don't think I, I, I don't think that's my goal. Like it probably happens. It's more, um, it's definitely like a personal healing thing, you know, uh, between me and my grandma or even in my own life to, to kind of come to terms or like change my relationship with these stories. Um, and I think it's, well, if I think if one is as an artist is committed enough and, and kind of um, is able to to make a piece which is like very, I don't know, like <laughs> good <laughs> about it, then uh, people can kind of connect it to their own experience and, and find different connections and, and maps how to you know like overlap their own life and feelings and and things with 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 what they see um but that's i think that's more up to the audience i would say um yeah and uh, sorry just one more thing like mm -hmm. uh, do you think you have a responsibility to react to uh, to the world like do you think that uh, mm -hmm. uh yeah and, yeah. Mm, this is an interesting question. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit too um, obvious, I think. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, I, I like it. Um, it's hard to, to, to talk about it in like one or two minutes. I could, yes, I think. Yes, I yes, that's why I was like, saying uh, it a bit more deeper. Yeah. Well, okay. I do think artists are responsible to, to reflect certain things mm -hmm. back where, or um, I wouldn't say make statements, but just, just, to kind of give presence or 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 visibility to certain mm -hmm. things around them, but this can take a lot of forms. Yeah. Um, I don't like like the word political art or political performance or whatever. Like I, I this political thing is so abstract these days. So yeah. you know, like actually, I I wrote my bachelor's thesis about that. Like how uh, can abstraction in contemporary dance be an incredibly strong uh social like um change or political change uh influencer uh so i think it it equally has value like artistic value um like you don't necessarily you know i i actually like kind of try to stay away from as i said from making very concrete mm -hmm. statements in my work i think the more like because then it becomes singular you know then it's just like you're just saying this one thing and it can be kind of argued with like super easy or like that it, that it's that it's a more rational thing i think the good thing about dance is that it's not rational <laughs> it can be but it's yeah it, it's not about arguments or yeah. opinions it's an experience so yeah cool thanks mm -hmm. So one more question from me. I would like to ask about your uh, process of the work that I read your um, uh, short description about your work, that you are working with uh, media and visual artist, Adam, this time. 
And then I'd like to ask, how do you rehearse? Usually, you rather、um, practice, make a you know piece together in dance studio or in you know、uh, your room or outside. So I was interested in how your rehearsal is going. And then、yeah. is it、mm-hmm. yeah more like a, you know physical work together? So like you dance. And then you talk with uh, uh, your partner, or more like discussion based. Yeah, so I was curious about this. Yeah, so、um, we work in dance studios, and we also discuss a lot. <laughs>、um, and I must say that it's kind of impossible to rehearse this kind of dance performance fully. Like we we can try certain things, but it really comes to life when it happens because it's not、yeah. only the moving body, but there's also the media and there's also a lot of improvisation. I mean, it has definitely its own structure and、um, and yeah, but but it's you know we can never fully control what happens.、Um, so that and that's that's interesting when we rehearse that we are not trying to you know we are not trying to like make a clean cut thing.、Um, We're just kind of making different connections and and games and and all of that and and interactions.、Um, yeah, we were in residence、uh, in Zagreb、um, with this、um, artistic organization called Kick Melona, and they are like really amazing、um, contemporary dancers、um, who make this festival. Uh, called Anti Sazona that we were part of. We did our first, like the very first showing of this piece, was there、uh, it, when it was a work in progress. We basically like rehearsed it for like five days and then showed the material that emerged, and that was a really intense process. We,、um, it was both like, you know, it's it's yeah, it's it's interesting because so Adam was making materials together with with my performance and ideas, and I was developing. Movement material and performance material from from what he he made and what he proposed with these different objects and um, and uh, installation pieces and and digital media. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this way of working. It's it's really like a a, a dialogue, you know. It's it's and it it doesn't really end. Like I feel like this one that we show. It's also just a, a stage of 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 this this whole. Process and you know, like I, I really like this feeling when the work kind of takes on its own life, and like yes, we can s- certainly to an extent control what happens, but it just lives, <laughs> like, and we are just kind of yeah, just making it as we go. So, but yes, we rehearse in dance studios. That's that's the the easy answer to your question. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. See. Is that all? Or、uh... I mean, if anyone has one more question that is really in the inside, I think we can just have one more and then then we're done. Anyone?、Mm-hmm. Otherwise, we are over ten minutes. Oh, okay. Wow, I talk so much. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just one more. Like、uh, now, what kind of、uh, space you can imagine for this performance? Yes, so it's gonna be in the Camera Terem <laughs> in Urani.、Okay. It's a black box theater space.、Um, we wanted to play with that, and it turns out that we can't play with it in a way we wanted to. We wanted to put the first part of of our performance under the the podium, under the stairs,、um, like you know where the audience sits, like kind of under that structure. It turns out we can't really do it, so now we are figuring out how to do something else.、Um, yeah, it's a lot of playing involved.、Um, yeah, I I don't want to spoil it too much or like <laughs> give spoilers. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, dear audience who is watching this, you should come and see.、Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great. I'm Great. excited <laughs> to see. Yeah, me yeah. too. <laughs> Thank you so much for for your answers. <laughs> Thank you for the question. Thank you. Thank you. So I think we're gonna stop recording now. <laughs>